Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you part two of my Detroit Lions uh, money play mini scheme uh, out of the iForm slot. I don't even think I said the name iForm slot in the first video, but either way, I'm sure you saw the diagram yourself. For some reason, I don't think that that's going to be the name in the uh, custom playbooks, but either way, if it is or it isn't, let me know in the comment section if you know a uh, different custom book name or if you want to know where it is. Either way, Detroit Lions uh, got some really good stuff out of it. I also have a really good scheme out of the uh, single back. Uh, Deuce, really good run play in there uh, too, by the way. And I'm also messing around with uh, the Y tr off trips. So I'm not sure if either one of these is a new formation, but um, they're definitely uh, they look a little bit tweaked or unique and have some good plays in. So if you guys want to see that, when we continue down to Detroit Lions playbook, hit the like button and I'll do that. Or let me know in the comment section what you want me to do next. Uh, it's totally up to you guys, whether it's a money play video or a tip video or whatever. You know, all this is not going to be on YouTube. There's still going to be some stuff on my Patreon. So if you want to see that, check it out. play that I want to show though is a uh, I like the, the PA uh, sprint halfback uh, this is a pretty good play as far as um, you know a, a kind of a quarterback option to run now I really have my option here Ebron as you can see he's gonna he's gonna peel out and become a receiver but it's up to me if I want to uh, put him across the center of the field which I think is a really good option as well um, to basically you know have those cross uh, those guys run across the field at each other, uh, but you can see here Jones. I didn't really adjust that well I'm glad he caught that because I thought I could have ran up field uh, But if you want to run just like this it's pretty good. I mean You know you see how the, the the tight ends right open right in front of your face, which is nice But that's the thing he's a blocker too, so he might not always do that, but he typically does but Look at this wall of receivers just all running together. Come on, man. I thought I could have a touch there. Typically, my read system, I go from the uh, from closest to me back. Where in this read system, I really think you want to start furthest from you, which is Jones, and work your way back, which is different um, from how I typically do this. But you got to you, you're moving your quarterback out of the pocket. That's something important to remember. Is you're motioning him as you do this. If you hit the if you hit the R2 button, he'll stay in the center, which is good because the the you know look how everybody's dropping to come get these shorter guys. Oh my goodness. Still trying to get that first touchdown. But like I said, I'll, I'll mix it in a little bit. I like canceling the play action, especially if you think the tight end is going to be the guy like he was there. Oh, man. I just can't get in that end zone. Yeah, this offense right here is really just about three guys. It's about Jones, Abdullah, and Ebron. Uh, Tate's really only good against cover two, I'd say. Um, so if you get that pre snapper But everybody gets pulled down. They all get pulled down. And I just leave this guy open. And I finally get that touchdown. I get that extra yard. And we are moving on to the next play. Now, the next play I'm going to show is the PA post shot. I showed a motion in a lot of different plays, and this is going to go well to uniform that. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Go through four. Um, basically, I, I motioned over this receiver uh, in the run play, and I, th I think I might have did it in another play. I'm not really sure, but either way, uh, I'm going to use that motion again. I think putting him just on a straight streak is the way to go, and you basically have uh, what's in a typical I-form PA power O, uh, which is a good play to mix. I mean, these, these play-action plays are really good. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, utilize them enough. I don't know if this nice, slow, fullback, halfback conversion can get the wheels, but that's a decent gain. Uh, but this is just a really good play to mix in with that first run play just because you don't want to get predictable. Uh, and this is just a really good, uh, you know, really good option right here. Oh, uh, my goodness, get that. Oh, I was thinking touchdown. Come on, bro. That was such a slow throw. It's all good, though. I mean, Matt Stafford only has one of the strongest arms in the NFL, and he couldn't bullet that in any faster. But, hey, what do I know about realism? Oh, my goodness. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. Oh, we're going to get that. I don't know if that was cover two or three, but that was a really nice look. What a route. All right, so we'll rock this once or twice more. Uh, the more I'm running, this, the more I realize that Golden Tate's obviously, obviously a really good, uh, really good option. He's getting a lot done out there. If you throw that right when he makes that break, I mean, he shouldn't be getting that wide open, right? This, uh, this is actually a little bit too easy. I almost feel like I'm going to try uh, running Jones where he is. 
because you really see, you know, if this, if this, if this square route's working this good, look how, look how easy he's busting that, that uh, receiver's ass. I'm going to run like this one time. I mean, I really don't think that uh, zone is really all it's cracked up to be this year. I really don't. <laughs> As you can see, he's just picking holes in it right now. Uh, this circle route with Jones Jr., I think that's going to be really good against cover three as well. As you see, I'm just laying it in there. I mean, he's, uh, he's a good option right where he is. Yeah, I don't know what's the better way to run this play. I mean, you could also take the play action away, move Abdullah out. He serves the purpose. Uh, I think I motioned the running back out like this in the previous play. I'm not even sure anymore. Um, but you can see how that works, too. And then, you know, you got Jones being covered by a tight end. That's going to be money. So I really don't think... I think the reason that Zone's having issues this year is they basically told you if you got a linebacker covering a wide receiver, it's going to be a problem. And uh, you're seeing the result of that. Because, they're, I mean, they're forcing you to essentially match uh, coverages because of the, the weak box system. And now you're, you're running into issues like this where if you, go, if you go zone coverage on something that's got an overload to one side, it's just totally setting you up. So three different ways to run this play. I'm not going to run this over and over and over, but you can see how they're all having success. I mean, this is the year of offense. There's not a lot of defense out there. Um, hopefully I'll have a defensive play for you guys pretty soon, though. All right, so this next one here, the PAX Dagger. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is an extremely glitchy route. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, make sure I got one of my faster guys out here. I'm not really sure if he, who's fast on this team, so I'm, I think I'm just going to run it the way that it is. But you want speed. You want speed on this outside route, uh, which Golden Tate is currently running. I don't know who's faster, Tate or, or Jones, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to flip the play because I'm on the one side of the field and I want to run this red route to the open side. So let's go ahead with the PAX Dagger here. We'll pick that. Keep going 3-4. Like I said, this is going to be especially deadly against um, against uh, man coverage and cover three, which this looks like a cover two, but it doesn't really matter. It looks like a man cover two. So all I'm going to do really is motion this guy over, and this is all about timing, but he's going to destroy this play. Um, as far as your other audibles, I like to put uh, Ebron here in a slant, and he plays off of the fullback pretty good. Uh, but it's really up to you. Tate will get open against cover three mostly. Uh, Ebron and, like I said, the running back play off each other pretty well. The running back... Um, you could also put, if you did motion over, over uh, Jones, you could have motioned the, the fullback over a little bit and helps. I'll try that in a, in a later play. But we're going to time this play out right so that the, um, the this circle route, and nice catch, but you see, <laughs> I saw it work. So I'm going to go ahead and try that again. Hopefully we'll hang on to it this time. They said something about people not dropping open balls this year in Madden 18, but my experience begged to differ. Yeah, you basically wait till he gets that second cut, and look at that huge separation. I'll slow that down probably in the replay. But you see how, if you throw it in that first cut, you're screwed. If you throw it when he first makes that little that little move, um, it's not a good thing. But if you throw it in that second one, it is so money right there. Look how wide open he is. That's like a good five-yard separation when you throw it. So a lot of these uh, you know glitchy routes are about timing. Uh, one of the plays I showed previously this year... So far, it's all about timing. I don't know what this is, but it's going to get destroyed. So let's go ahead. Uh, I didn't actually throw that right. That's why he cut closer, because I actually didn't time it right. But I, I'm telling you this right now. you got to lab this. you got to practice this. This route right here, if done correctly, is almost uncoverable. It's, it's not about... I should really leave that tight end in the block. I don't like the way that that guy's, that guy's looking at me. Um, yeah, that guy looks like he's coming. But if you, if you time this right, you time it on that second break... He just comes open. That was, that was actually one of the better coverages. He's still open. Um, they're actually getting... They have good corners in Chicago. So they're getting... And I don't have the best receiver. I mean, it's a pretty even match right now between the corners um, and the receivers. If I had a burner receiver out there, you'd be seeing, you know... And there I, there I threw it in the first break and I just kind of used it caught it. But either way, it's just beating up on everything. So I moved the ball over here. Let's take a look at some of these other options. Um, you're not going to need to uh, throw to them too often, but they're still there. Like I said, Golden Tate's a really good option, too. He's right kind of like where a slot receiver would be. And you can see how he's just open right at the seam. I'm not sure if that was a cover two or three, but he's open right away. I keep making mistakes. I, I, since I'm switching back and forth from Xbox and PlayStation, I see the X. And the X is a different uh, button on the Xbox. So this is just a pain in the butt. Switching back and forth like this. Oh, man, that cover three option is just there. It's just killer. I mean, they're both really money plays, uh, both routes. So that motion is essential to getting Jones and Tate open. Um, because, you know, if Jones stayed where he was, he would actually get in Tate's way. 
Uh, he would pull coverage. He wouldn't pull coverage the same way. Look at that. Wide open, man. I, like I said, I think that was cover three again. He's just pooping on it. This play as designed is, is nothing like what it is now. The motion makes it all. Uh, Ebron pulling coverage makes a large portion of it. You know, these adjustments are really key. Uh, you couldn't just go this way. Man, I, I tell you, I, every time I keep thinking it's the Xbox X button and I have to hesitate to throw it. But there we go. Got a touchdown. All right, so that's it. Uh, if you guys want to see more Lions, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section what you want me to do next. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shout out.